Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe today. Um, so today I'm going to do review a yarn for you. So this is a yarn from Lion Brand that they had um, a while back and uh, pretty well back and they, they brought it back in a bonus bundle. To tell you the truth, it's been so long since I had the, the OG, the original. I don't um, even remember <laughs> what it used to feel like. It's been so long. But anyways, they brought this back. It's their Jiffy yarn. It used to be in small balls, I know, um, if I can remember right. Um, so why don't we go... Um, we'll go ahead and talk about it. The only place that I've seen it, though, um, is... Joann's. It's not, I, I haven't seen it on Lion Brand's website. I've only seen it at Joann's. So today is 122-2023. Um, they have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 colors available. Now I only got a couple colors of them. Um, I could not get them all. Okay, uh, but I will show you what I got. So of course, I had to get this one because this pink is one of my favorite colors. There's a pink, that Victorian pinky color. So this is the bonus bundle. It's a big ball of yarn, isn't it? It's Jiffy. By Lion Brand. What are we going to read about it? From the vault. They all, you know, they bring back yarns from the vault every once in a while. And this is one of them. An old-fashioned favorite. All right. So, the Jiffy Bonus Bundle. Bigger is better. Yarn quality since 1878 Lion Brand. It says, an old favorite made new again and bigger. <laughs> okay. So, it's 14.5 ounces, 410 grams, 681 yards, or 423 meters of a 100% acrylic uh, bulky five weight or chunky weight yarn. I do want to mention though, I did notice when I went on uh, Joanne's website, in the description of them describing the yarn, um, it says 755 yards for ball. But then when you go down to like where it says product uh, features, it says 681. So I wasn't sure if it was going to be the 681 or the 755, um, but it is the 681. So if you do go there and you look at it and you read the description, it's going to say 755 in Joe Mann's. But if you look down a little bit lower, it'll say 681. So just so you know, it is the 681. So, but it is a bulky five. Um, and it is 100% uh, acrylic, knitting needle size, 6 millimeter, and the recommended hook size is a 6.5. It says that it is machine washable, ungentle, lay flat to dry, and it is made in Turkey. Okay. Okay, so this bears a strong resemblance to a yarn. Uh, Red Heart Dreamy is what this reminds me of. If you guys have ever used that before, I like that yarn. I do. Now, I worked, I crocheted with this. I knitted some with my knitting machine. I washed it, laid it flat to dry, and I also washed it and put it in the dryer just to see, you know, what would happen. Even though it says not to. I mean, it is a 100% acrylic yarn. What could happen, right? <laughs> Anyways, so if you look at the jiffy, it is a nice bulky, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a nice bulky five, but it does have a fuzz around that. See that? It has a little bit of a halo. It's two strands uh, that are twisted together. Um, it's very soft. It smells clean. And it's kind of what I imagined it, you know, like I said, I can't really, really remember what it was like, but when I seen the picture, it reminded me a lot of Red Heart Dreamy. It is kind of like that. So, this color I have here is called Clay. I love it a lot. Um, and I only got, I got uh, one other color. <laughs> I didn't, I couldn't get them all this time. I'm sorry. Um, I got this pretty blue. I thought this would work good 
both are actually work good for a baby blanket or something. Um, but actually, it would work well for anything. I could see a nice cardigan done up in this. Um, the color of this one is called Coastal. That is so pretty. That's that's very pretty. I I think it's 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 nice. But you know what? Um, the only thing that I like the fuzzy type yarns. But the only thing I worry about is when if you make a mistake. A lot of times the fuzzy type yarns have the tendency to not come undone very friendly. They're not like making a mistake friendly type of yarn. They're like, don't make a mistake or you're going to regret it type of yarn. So I got those two colors. And now the regular price at Joann's is $19.99 a ball. Now that's outrageously priced. But that's not how much it is. Um, I actually got these... <laughs> Um, I think last week, and they were nine on sale for nine ninety nine, and they had twenty percent off of that as well. Um, so that's what I pay for them. Um, but right now they're twelve ninety nine. They also have a twenty percent coupon, and I I don't think that's a bad deal either. Now nineteen ninety nine, I wouldn't pay that, but I think I would still pay the twelve ninety nine with the twenty percent coupon. Um. Uh, but why don't we go ahead before actually before I say that because I haven't did the pool test yet or let, let's go ahead and look at it. the knitted pieces the washed board washed pieces and uh the crochet pieces and see if it comes undone i'm going to take my camera into my lighted up room here all right so first off why don't we look at the piece that i crocheted so when i crocheted with it it crocheted i did use the recommended hook size of a six and a half millimeter it crocheted nice you know even though it has that fuzzy fuzziness to it it didn't give me any trouble at all you know even though it would it's two strands that are twisted together um it gave me no trouble at all it didn't split or anything on me it didn't hang up on me but you can see when i show you closely that fuzz that is on the yarn if i get my camera to focus see that now, I do like yarns like this. Now, you can see that I did some bobbles and a little bit of different stitch up here. And you can see the stitch definition quite well. Um, so whatever stitch you use, you know, whether it be cables, bobbles, puffs, anything special or not, you know, it's going to be very visible. So it won't be a waste of time to spend a little bit of extra time on a special stitch on this. Like if you want to make get this and make a cable sweater, I think that would be beautiful. But... As you can see, it, cro it crocheted up nicely. It looks well. It feels good. Um, you know, it's it's fuzzy. But does it come undone? I don't know. That's the test. I was think thinking that it probably wouldn't. But I usually don't give yarns like this a very good... Uh, <laughs> They've always given me troubles. Look at that coming undone now. Well, there's a snag up. That's okay. One's not too bad. The, oh, there's two. The real test is going to be when we get to those bobbles. That's going to be the test. Well, so far, it's really surprising me because that's not bad for this type of yarn. Look at them bobbles come out. Oh, okay. That passes the bag of day crochet pool test. That was great excellent that's nice that was really surprising to me okay so i knitted a hat on my knitting machine and this is what it looks like knitted up it's very sorry i didn't have my tails but it's very pretty I knitted up and here's kind of the inside it's, it's like kind of the fuzziness one on the inside for some reason but yes, it's it's very pretty netted and it's very pretty crocheted. Now, why don't we look at the two pieces that I put in uh, into the washer or washer? <clears throat> so this one has not been washed at all. This, this is straight off the knitting machine. Okay. Okay. So the next one, as per instructions, I washed it on gentle and i laid it flat to dry and this is what it looked like after the, after the wash and being laid flat to dry it did fuzz up can you see that a lot more than what this is this has not nothing done to it this was put in the washer like i said gentle and laid flat to dry so it did fuzz up a bit more when you did it did that 
And then just for fun, you know, I threw one in the dryer. I washed one on gentle. <laughs> <laughs> and threw it in the dryer just to see if it would make a difference, you know, like I said, because it is acrylic. And here is the one that I washed on gentle and put in the dryer. It actually looks pretty much the same as the one that is laying flat. So, I, I mean, this is just me from what I can tell. I don't think it really makes a difference whether you lay it flat or put it in the dryer. They look exactly the same. They still fuzzed up the same. See the the plies on them? But it is a fuzzy yarn anyways. So it's going to fuzz up. But as for as it saying that you, you know, laying it flat to dry, I really honestly don't think that's really going to make a difference because they look identical to me. I mean, they don't look... You couldn't tell one from the other. If I didn't tell you which one was lay flat to dry you probably wouldn't know other than maybe this one's a little bit tighter because it was in the dryer you know how things in the dryer kind of but you kind of get uh this one's kind of a little bit more stressed out because i laid it out but other than that you know you can't you can't tell a difference i i can't tell a difference and here is the one that's not been in anything so for the dryer test or washer and dryer test i think it's okay i would probably recommend hand washing and laying flat i try to do that with everything that i make but then again not everybody can do that so if you're going to wash it on gentle like i said i don't think throwing it in the dryer is going to make a bit of difference if you do that i did it and they look exactly the same all right let's go back all right we're back so you saw how it looked crocheted. I thought it looked really well. And it crocheted really well. It's a nice bulky five. It feels soft. Um, it came undone easily, which would really surprise me since it is a fuzzy type of yarn. Um, let's see. And then you've seen how it knitted. And then you've seen how it looked. Uh, both of them washed on gentle. And then one laid flat as per rec recommended on the label and one I threw in the dryer they both looked the same you know they did have a bit more peeling on them than the regular but it being a fuzzy yarn I don't think it's really that big of a deal so final thoughts on this yarn like I said we'll talk about the price again it did say you know regular $19.99 that's it, that's kind of crazy I would never pay that um and i mentioned that i bought mine for 9.99 with 20 percent off excellent deal i think it that was a great deal that i got it being almost 700 yards of a bulky five you can go you know bulky five goes further than than a four weight a little bit further <laughs> and then um right now which is like i said 122 it is 12.99 and they do have a 20 percent off coupon as well I wouldn't hesitate to pay the $12.99 with a 20% off coupon um, for that amount of yardage of bulky five of this particular yarn. I really like this one. Um, although I did say that it is very similar to Red Heart's um, uh, Dreamy. Um, it is a bit different, but I think it's, it's a little thicker than theirs. But it still has similar um, aspects to it. But I do like the Dreamy as well. I don't even know if they make that anymore. I don't know. Anyways, I like the Jiffy a lot. I do. So, uh, it's very soft. I, I'm going to, I want to, I don't know which one, which color I want to use. I might have to get some more. I should have bought more when it was $9.99, but that's okay. Like I said, $12.99. With the 20 percent off is not a bad price for that uh in today's market actually 12.99 on its own is not a bad price um for for six almost 700 yards of a bulky five and it's a soft acrylic yarn um i like it i do i like it a lot but i wouldn't pay the 19.99 for it <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just why Joann's mark stuff high because they never they're gonna have coupons and they're gonna have sales all the time now. anyways so yes I would definitely repurchase the Jiffy in a heartbeat I like it a lot now remember though these are only my personal opinions and um, they can be different from yours this is not gonna be a yarn for everybody bulky five is my favorite for one I love fuzzy type of yarns 
that's another reason why I like it. It is soft, and um, I love the way that it came undone really easy. That was something that was different than Red Heart Dreamy. It was kind of hard to come undone, but this is a very, very nice yarn, and I like that it's in the big bonus bundle, too, you know? Less, less uh, tails to hide, because you don't have to add as many balls. So, taking everything that I said into consideration as price and and um, everything, you know, about it, how it feels and um, how it crochets and how it looks knitted, how it, how it washed up and everything. I'm going to give it a rating. Mm. <laughs> this might get a good rating for me for, for an acrylic. Um, because um, of everything, you know, that I just, it just has everything for, for a yarn that I like. Um, but please remember, it's just uh, it's just me. You might not like it, so I always just recommend you just try in one because it could be the best or the worst yarn that you've ever had. Um, but in my personal opinion, I I like it. I buy it again in a heartbeat. I'm gonna give it a solid. Oh gosh, that's got to be an eight and a half, and that's a pretty good rating, um, I think, for an acrylic. I like it a lot. I do. I do like it a lot. Um, in case you can't tell, I liked it as soon as I opened the box. <laughs> it's so pretty. The colors are even just gorgeous. I want to get more colors, but I'm, I can't get them now. But they have a lot of pretty colors. Um, but these two really spoke to me, especially this one. I don't know why. Probably because it just it matches my chair. <laughs> So that's it. I like it a lot. I would definitely buy it again. And if you have the means and you like those type of yarns that are a bit fuzzy, it's a nice soft acrylic. Um, it says to lay fat, but you've seen my lay flat versus putting it in the dryer. They look the same. So I don't really think that makes a difference. Um, give it a go. You, you know, you might be the best yarn ever, like I said. But if you don't like it, remember, I'm just... I'm sorry. I, I'm just giving you my my opinion on it, all right? But I hope that if you do try it, that you do like it. And, and if you do, you should sh make something with it from one of my tutorials, hopefully. And show me on uh, my Facebook page, okay? I'll see you guys on my next video. Yay for the Jiffy. Lion Brand. It's been a while since I gave you a good rating for a, new, for a new yarn. Well, this is actually an old one that they brought back, but it's good. Bye, guys.